Welcome back to beautiful Greenville, South Carolina. We have so enjoyed our time here. And one of the things that we definitely noticed is the culinary scene. It is incredible. There are so many amazing restaurants to choose from. We are here now with Carl Sobosinski. Good and morning. a lot of people say you sort of led the way to Greenville's culinary experience. How many? There's just tons of different mm. restaurants. It's, um, it is a great place to open a restaurant. It's a great place to be a consumer and come and dine. We started about 20 years ago when Greenville was about three or four blocks of activity and have been here and watched it expand over the years. It's been so much fun. So you started by opening Sobeys, and of course Sobeys, we went there yesterday to kind of take a look, and you can tell it's just very iconic in the heart of downtown Greenville. And from there, you've opened several other different restaurants as well, I understand. Right. We started there with an old cotton exchange with beautiful warm brick walls, um, brought southern cuisine, a Charleston style of cooking to Greenville for the first time, and since then have ventured into Mediterranean, and a gastropub and steakhouse at one point in time, French bistro, so we're all over the board. And as we walked down Main Street, we couldn't help but notice, and we, we got some of the video here of just people at all hours of the day. It's not like just the lunch hour or the dinner hour. I mean, you can always find people sitting outside on these lovely tables enjoying a sushi roll or, like you said, maybe a little pasta dish. Yeah, it's, it's so Greenville's a very pedestrian-friendly city. There's a lot of foot traffic. Um, that's changed, too, over the years, and it's just been an evolution process, but it's been fun to be involved in the culinary side. And we started promoting the culinary tourism many years ago when we had more restaurants doing farm to table and promoting our local ingredients. And of course, we are here at Passerel Bistro, which is where Jonathan and I got to enjoy dinner last night. It was incredible. And we have a couple of dishes that we want to show some folks. These are two of the things that we didn't order, so I'm excited because I couldn't decide on the menu. So tell me a little bit about this one. So Chef Terry's um, menu here, and we've got two of our signature dishes, so an appetizer over here with our um, goat cheese and blueberry lavender compote. Oh. Uh, and then over here you have our local North Carolina trout. I'm going to need a napkin <laughs> and a fork because I'm so excited. But tell me a little bit about, you said the actual word, because you have a lot of French dishes here as well. So um, we took over this restaurant. It had been a more of a sandwich style casual restaurant. Uh -huh. Um, we took it over four years ago, and um, after doing some research and due diligence, we decided to do a little French bistro. There was no French cuisine in town. And passerelle is the French term for footbridge. So we are right here in, um, at the start of the Liberty Footbridge, and this is sort of the crown jewel of downtown Greenville, the whole Falls Park area. So it's been, it's been well received. The space looks great. You sit here all afternoon and overlook yeah. the waterfall, and enjoy a great meal. Nice breeze and it is incredible. We want to thank you for dinner last night. It was wonderful. The coffee off the chain. Nice. It is an amazing cup of coffee. I like to hear that. I loved it. It was so good. Not to mention the flourless chocolate cake that we may have indulged in too. All right. Well, for more, you can always check out the website. Visit greenvillesc.com. It will help you plan, but make sure to have extra time so you can visit some of these restaurants. It's time to eat. We're going to take a break.